All right. I am not in the mood. Oh. This is the end of that. Well, Ray is never in the mood. It's rather boring when I haven't killed anything in a while. Well, that's not even my guy. Yeah, because we haven't done anything main quest-wise, right? Yeah. No, it's... Do you really feel pain when the forest is disturbed? Hey! Oh, hey! Is it bad? Ah, it depends on how much the wee forest is hurting now, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not the days and it's damn a suit of balance. The forest grays. Cutting down a whole tree will hurt more than cutting off a single branch. TJ is still listening. Oh, no, <laughs> TJ isn't bad. <laughs> Probably wincing just from the psychic wing backlash from that. The worst pain, even worse than fear, is the feel of a demon in our midst. Demons carry with them the void of life. They slowly kill everything around them. Having such a creature in the forest is beyond torture. That's beyond pain. And that is why the Dark Elves were expelled? Hey, for the most part. Also, we're racist, so we didn't like them. Their actions have branded them exiles, but their blood kept them that way. That's true that today's Dark Elves don't didn't inflict as much pain as the demon itself. I can't be sure, actually. Sometimes I'm surprised when told there are Dark Elves into the forest. Other times, I know immediately. Intriguing. Uh, Karen probably doesn't want to talk to us. Majesty, oh, I right. couldn't help but notice. Continue. <laughs> when I was serving back the Citadel, I was given the honor of seeing you fight in an armed battle. It was one of the greatest fights I'd ever seen. You killed many slaves. Why do you suck so much now? <clears throat> well, the uh, players uh, fucked up all my skill points at the beginning when they got me. Otherwise, I'd be pretty good. And yet, when I see you battle now, <laughs> he's calling her out on her stat block. Say it. You're not fighting as fiercely as you did back then. Karen drew in a long breath. I believe you're right. Wow, those fucking narrow eyes. Is that all you have to say about it? I know you're stronger than this. We're counting on you. You think I'm not doing the best I can? That my age has rendered my spiet spear arm useless? My spar? Which insult is it? You think I'm not doing... Uh, oh, yeah, just retyped. We should um, just apologize. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. She's <laughs> going to impale us. No, no, your grace. I d don't mean to insult you. That's me flirting. I'm very bad at it. I do not believe that you are purposely holding back or that your age has at all diminished your strength. What I mean to say is that the ordeal with Rhizome has changed you and that your spirit hasn't fully recovered. I wonder if there's anything I can do to help you recover. Because we'd all like to see you, you return to your former glory. Because I don't fucking trust your daughter with the kingdom for one minute. <laughs> Seriously, not even a minute. Karen stared at Saren for a long time until she signaled the end of the discussion. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, <laughs> doggy. <laughs> Saren watched Aurora jump up next to Trouble. It snapped at her and she growled back. It's interesting to me that Trouble does not have, a, like, not even does not have a gender, but is not even a they. Mm. Were you trying to get on top of Trouble? I want a mighty steed and it's just my size. Looks like it doesn't want to be your steed. It's important that everyone go to the Facebook page. People riding dogs but not really riding them or hurting them, just pretending. That's the name of the page, and that's it includes nothing but pictures of exactly what that describes. That's amazing. It's people pretending to ride their dogs. Like squatting on corgis, etc. Yeah, well, or like big dogs or little dogs. Yeah. Or, but, but the, point is, the yeah. point is never actually trying to ride them, because dogs don't like that, and it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want it either. It's fire would just ruin my clothes anyway. Or stuck her nose in the air and left. Trouble looked her at her quizzically. That was weird. Yep. 
You're knowledge ab- knowledgeable about the old age. Are you calling me old? Is it uh, because of my giant beard? I've had this beard since I was seven. Yes! <laughs> could, could you tell me more about it? I could. Let me tell you about my <laughs> last 19 trips to the doctor. Will you? The old wizard sighed. Very well. Where should I start? The old age is the era when our world was ruled by the Death Knights. It is a world of anarchy, lawlessness, and general chaos. It was also the world of the dead. Immortal and undead creatures roamed freely. Creatures of life, such as ourselves, were killed or, more accurately, converted. How did that happen? Was there a different world before the old age? Ah, the old, old age! The gods did create a world much like the one we see today, but with barbaric cultures that only barely resemble our own. Yes, what we have now is an excellent civilization. That's why we were massacring each other like two weeks ago. Mm. Some say that a god of the realm of Inferno decided to wage war against the gods of Elysium. That's some, like, world building that we have never, ever encountered. Yeah, no, no. We don't know anything about this, despite having encountered, like, holy monks and cultists and... Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to show us the background, NPC. I do not believe this. Knowing what I do about the realms of our existence, I believe there was a fault in the realms of the dead that allowed them to escape into ours. Yes, the old age was a result of some old plumbing! In the lines and divisions between the planes. Because the civilizations were primitive in that time, they stood no chance against such dark magic. And those giant buildings, those... Monuments and pyramids and temples that you see, they were built by the gods because those primitive cultures really didn't have the knowledge or te- technology to do so. They were very stupid, you Let see. Let me Not tell like you now. about something that you probably already know about, Saren. Let me tell you about space aliens! <laughs> Who do you think, do you I... think the primitive cultures of that time could build a pyramid? Ridiculous. Space aliens. Yes, very much. And that is why the gods created the ancient weapons, one of which is prin- one of which Princess Loren currently possesses. Does the world stand a chance of becoming overrun with death knights again? We just whooped one, like, an hour ago. If we ignore the threat in Everburn, most definitely. It only took time for the world to be consumed by death. And we are giving Everburn plenty of it. Speaking of which, we should waste no more time speaking of history. All right. Draco. Draco. Oh boy. You want me to leave you alone? What? Why do you ask? I feel like I should be leaving you alone. But why? I don't mind you as much. We're good friends now. We're friends with a lot of people. I'm just getting in the way. Oh, maybe we do have to choose. What are you saying, Draco? Okay, important, real talk. If we have to choose, who do we choose? Like, is there a question? Draco's our boy. Yeah, like, it's true. It's true. Like, other ones are entertaining, but Draco's the only one that we're, like, in a relationship with as equals. That's true. That's a good point. Draco grabbed at his arm and looked away. You know what I'm seeing. I think tell Draco that nothing has to change. Yeah, no. I, I would, like, I would be very surprised if the game would is going to make us pick. I mean, that's standard visual novel thing, isn't it, right? Maybe. Like, like it's the same thing with, like, Mass Effect and things. You, like, yeah, romance I guess a bunch of people, people, and then you have to, like... I mean, unless there's, like, sexy harem ending for this, but I don't think that's the kind of novel where... True. I like the way the things are. If anything has to change, it's not between us. Draco met with Saren's gaze hesitantly. Do you understand? Sorry, I was just expecting you to say something different. I'm a little shocked. When will you finally believe that someone honestly cares about you? Probably never, so you have to convince me forever. 
if that's what it takes. Damn! Whoa, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, like looking at everybody else, Emukiki, we do not have a relationship with. <laughs> Whatever romance we think is brewing, it is entirely like physical. Yeah. Um, like we flex at each other, sweat a bunch, and that gains hearts. Mm-hmm. Um, Mirth is basically a forest goddess. Yeah. Uh, Kambara is going to give us some very important life experiences, but I don't think is relationship material. She would disagree with you. Um, that I believe that is exactly her MO. Like, she's not a healthy relationship. No, that's true. Um, and, like, Batman... Batman's got issues. I can, I can see... His, I, like, <laughs> Batman has a subscription. <laughs> like, <laughs> never heard that. That's really good. Um, yeah, like, Draco's the only one that we're got, we've got, like, a, a like... Genuine connection. Genuine with no, connection. Fair. Where we, like, meet in the middle. Where we're not... Yep. No, like, that's totally fair. Saren caught Amokiki watching him as he left the forest laughing with Draco. Yeah, this is our, like, this is our, like, you have to pick moment. The gladiator's look was not hostile and almost wounded. Saren's smile dropped immediately. Draco parted away, allowing Saren to approach Amokiki, even though the gladiator had quickly turned away. Can I help you? Do not fret. I do not care how your culture selects its mating partners. Uh, ma- 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 mating? I cannot be more plain with my words. Is that what you think I'm doing with Draco? As I said, I'm not familiar with your customs, and I don't wish to be. Then why remark on my behavior at all? Because you are worthy of more. Ooh! It's harsh! Harsh, yeah. More what? If you were a nomad, you could choose between from the greatest of warriors, and bring your clan honor from such mighty kin. I, uh, you don't consider Draco a great warrior? Seriously, Draco has more confirmed kills than you. Dra- <laughs> Draco incinerates armies. You punch guy real good. You get hit in the face. That's your job. <laughs> yeah. Like, fair you enough. You punch guy middlingly good. Like, in, in a toe-to-toe fight with Draco, you would win. Uh. But 2v2, you lose. <laughs> yeah. I do not. Ooh. Okay. Well, we got to ask about nomad tradition. Like, yeah, like, like I don't want to reject the thing, his like, culture. Like, like this none is of not... these seem like ultimate make or break yeah. options, right? Yeah, I don't think we we have hit. I'm hoping it'll be really clear when it's like, if I were a nomad, how would I court a mate? I'm Kiki was thrown off by the question. He had to think about it for a moment. You would speak to their clan leader. I see why you're confused about other cultures' mating rituals. Yours has none. What? What? We do. It's put into motion by the clan leader. And if a no man did not have an a the thank you yeah, just keep going. <laughs> we got there. Saren looked up and down with Kiki's eyes. Then the nomad would be free to do as he or she or they wished. They were silent for a while, and then Saren turned away. No, no, it was probably, he was, like, trying to convince Saren to do what he wished. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's how it, sh- that is how it should be. Emokiki was quiet when he left. Oh, weird. Interesting. Yeah. This is going to strange places. Yeah. My ex is getting restless. And last but not least, Loren. Uh-huh. Well, last but actually least. Yeah. Trouble, <laughs> Trouble was sniffing the ground around Loren, and then her. Shoot. Trouble sat down in front of her. Be gone. All three of its heads turned on their side to look up at her. Saren. Yes, ma'am? How do I get rid of it? You don't like Trouble? No one likes Trouble. Why would I like him? Trouble began to whimper. She used a gender for Trouble. Yeah. Though. Is it hurt? I think it just wants attention from you. How do I give it that? Uh, a pat on its heads, maybe? They're made of fire. Try again. Pay attention to what's happening here. Lauren cautiously reached out her hand to touch one of Trouble's heads. The beast watched her, and just as her hand came close enough, it licked and slobbered all over her hand. Ugh. <laughs> ha! 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 
That's Sarah's laugh. He's mm-hmm. bad at it. Go now. You've had your fun. Loren kept her arm away from her body until she cleaned up. Interesting. So where's our heart status here? Draco were maxed. Amukiki were maxed. Um, Kambara and Mirth. Uh, I think we're boned with Kambara. I think that we... Because we, like, cut that off. We screwed that up, like, early on. Have we ever rejected her, though? Um, like, I don't think so. I think we... No, I, don't, I, think we I don't think we have, like... Select... We've never not chosen the romance option. Yeah, no, we have, like... I think it just hasn't happened yet. All right, so we still got lots of time. All right, do we, we want to do some of the personal quests or do we just like grind to the end? Um, let's see what the personal quests we got. We got Ramus and Dora. Yeah. So I'm I'm concerned about this, I guess. Also, we probably have to bring Ramus and Dora. Yeah, and they're terrible. Um, but I mean, we haven't really had any problems. It's so true. we could save and go find out how hard they are. Yeah, that's true. Let's do that. Uh, Ramus or Dora? And well, Ramus just got a fancy new sword that he hasn't equipped. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's uh, equipment Ramus. All right. I'm betting so... that, like, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's 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 a bit of a step up for him. That's considerably better. Does he get... Do we have any rings or necklaces kicking around? No. Rings. No, no. We gave them to all our core Yeah, people. I think we've sold everything. It's of value. Okay. So, yeah, I guess hammer hands is... Uh... Uh, we just click on the quest, I think. Okay. Review your party setup before proceeding. All right. So... Oh, we don't have to bring Loren, but we do... But we do her. want to bring Loren because she's very good oh, at yeah, no, people no. now. I'm just interested um, in... But we, we can leave Apollo Michaud behind and bring... Uh, Mara. Kambara, because she is more fun. Agreed. All right. Current party limit is two. Oh. So it's just Ramus and Saren. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that, that could be that could be a rough times. We saved. Saren notified Ramus that he was ready to travel to Hammer Time to speak to his brother for him. When they made it to the Dwarven City, Ramus took Saren to his family's house. He led them up a marvelous stone structure set into the side of the mountain. It was walled off from the rest of the city, and only a few other buildings could be seen that were similar. <laughs> Never Jesus. noticed how much their armor matches. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. What is this place? My home, damn it. Well, what are you, royalty? Uh, something like that. I won't brag. Really? I was pounded through the estate right up the front door. Uh, the doors at the end of the yard gasped as they saw Ramus. Hey, is that goddamn cadre in today? Doors nodded but kept silent. Good. Come on. That one's... This is the vampire's house? It totally is the vampire castle. <laughs> no one stopped Ramus or Saren as they explored the inside of the mountain mansion. Ramus called out his brother's name repeatedly and police stumbled on him in a sparse room. Cadres, what are you doing with this goddamn room? All the fucking trophies are missing. Oh, wonderful. Louch checking himself in. What are you doing here? This is a coup, brother. Ain't that right, ma'am? Ramus gestured to Saren, who was like, we could have brought more people, dude. Um, he quickly nodded. Uh, if, er, if, if we may. Ramus grunted dismissal at Saren. Don't ask him first, just take. That again? You're practically obsessed over those rocks. Rocks? Rocks? I show you rocks. I got stones for days, son. Ramus growled and advanced toward his brother, grabbing his axe. Ah! No, no! Help! Help! A large nomad squeezed in through a dwarf-sized door. and stood protectively next to Cadres. Ramus stopped and, and scowled. Y'all can afford a meathead, but you can't pay your goddamn debts? Yeah. Don't start. You're the one who quit trading to join some misfit adventures. If we're at a loss for coins, we know whose fault it is. How dare you! I was If I was the only one keeping this goddamn family afloat, y'all never had to be a right to, or any right to be the head of the family. Don't blame me. Blame your mother for marrying outside her caste. Only a dwarf of my caliber would be trusted with... Sorry, what'd you say about my mama? <laughs> Alright, you rotten barbarian. Let's see how tough you are. Uh, hopefully not very. He's level 10. Alright, yep, we can... We... 
Oh great, he's weak against magic, which not no we can't do we necessarily can do nothing. Um uh, what are we? Scared? Scared, yay. We're just gonna keep wailing on him. Uh yep, until we get hurt enough to need to do something. We can just double click. Oh yeah, second that's right I can. Yay! Yay! Cad just whimpered when he saw that he was defenseless. I'm gonna take those gems and then I'm gonna kill you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to that comment about your mama. We both know you did. You sounds offensive magic. <laughs> Ramus raised his axe over his cowering brother. Don't kill him, Ramus. Sorry, what? Look at the rug. You'd ruin it. Yeah, yeah, don't kill me. I I'll give you whatever you want. Gems, now! You can have them. You, you can have this whole broken house. The family's ruined anyway. Thanks to your leathery ass. Okay, but I don't have them. What? I sold them. You sold what? The whole room shook with Ramus's booming voice. Codrus blurted all the information he could manage when not being sworn to Inferno by his brother. Cadrus had sold the gems to pay some debts to underground dwarves. Ramus was fuming, thinking about his family's honor in their hands. As underground dwarves were crime lords. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's... Props to this art. I really like it. Ramus wasted little time in storming out of his estate and into the mines. There was a bad part of the underground system where brigands swelled out of sight of any authority. Meet close to me, but not, like, too close, because I'll be on a murder... L listen... We're PCs, you know how this works. I I understand that there's really only one way we know how to solve problems. Yep. Are you sure that's the only way? Maybe we can negotiate or some shit. Listen, I didn't name this fucking Death Knight Sword Negotiator for nothing. It's not how my family earned its honor, so it's not how I'll be getting it back. He flipped his axe in his hand. They both wandered into a very shady part of the mines. Arguably, all of the parts of the mines were shady, but uh, trying not to get in more trouble than they were looking for. Dwarves with eye patches and missing teeth growled at them as they passed. Finally, they were stopped by particularly surly dwarves. You got a reason for being in these parts? I come from my family jewels. The dwarves laughed at Remus. Oh, you're the sad sap who pawned those rocks. Who's got them? Boss has all the good stuff, of course. Good, I'm down for a boss fight. I don't think he'll miss a few goddamn hirelings. Oh, so we're just gonna murder them? We're going to I, murder... I also like that our cousin's in the back row. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> it's, I mean, not literally him, but they, uh... So, yeah, so I guess we just chop. And he can whole row is compared to... Mm, yeah, yeah, it does yeah, more damage. Whole row is better, yeah. Yep. So now we, uh... Alright. <laughs> we just one shot him! One. Turns out Alchemist shouldn't be in a fist fight. Remus, do we have to kill so recklessly? What's that racket, you scum? A dirt-covered dwarf with a peg leg hobbled out of a nearby tunnel. He froze when he saw the bodies on the ground. All I'm wanting are my goddamn family jewels. You hand them over, I'm gonna get out of here. The boss glowered and pulled out an axe, even larger than Ramesses, despite the fact <laughs> I see your that he is mine. clearly <laughs> carrying a saber. <laughs> Y'all think I'm some weak-necked elf gonna hand over whatever you ask? Well, shit, you're about to be. Crime Lord grinned and showed he had dirt in his teeth, too. <laughs> sure. It's gotta be like an Italian expression or something. Yeah. I like that armor you got. I think I'll, I'll be taking it. it. <laughs> Ramus went berserk. Oh yeah, he has the berserk power. Hey, okay. does he do we did we actually skill into it? Is it useful? I don't know, and I don't know. Uh let's click on uh, Ramus when it's his turn. Um stamina point regeneration for Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who cares? What? Click our way to victory. Click our way. <laughs> uh, yep. Blast. 
dust on your fucking family. Bostwarf gurgled his last words and then was silent. Crime mode or not, Saren made an effort to close the dwarf's eyes and lay him in a respectable fashion. Where the hell are they? Ramus rummaged through every bag and box in the area. A glint from the boss dwarf's fallen axe caught Saren's eye. Uh, um, Ram Ramus? Picked up the axe. Large jewels were fashioned, fastened to the hilt. Are these anything important? Ramus paused and then charged toward the axe. He yanked it from Saren and inspected them with a scowl. My gems. He used them for himself, that goddamn rat. Could have at least pointed the symbols face out. He beat on the axe to get the gems to come out, but none dislodged. Yeah. Calm down. You can take the axe with you. I just looked at the weapon in his hands, realizing it was not just a trophy, but now the home of its family gems. Sorry, family jewels. He stared at it for a while until slipping it on his back. It's a big axe. It'll do for now. I'll shake those stones out of it soon. Saren helped Ramus make it back to the surface alive. Back at his estate, they found Cadres had fled. Ramus was now the rightful head dwarf to his house, even without the gems. But he assured Saren that they were as, they were important to his family honor. And they did the right thing in getting them back, and perhaps all of Hammer Time, for ridding the city of some notorious criminals. We have received the Gemstone Axe. Alright. Uh, let's go back to camp. Yep. Yeah. So let's... Equip uh, an axe. Uh, Is it better than... Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, I mean, like, uh, a beautifully adorned axe as compared to... The Death Knight the, sword. Uh, the sort of a Death Knight, yeah. Uh, what do you expect? All right, so now that we've got, like, a measure for that, um, let's do... Let's do Dora. Dora's, and then we'll probably call it for the Yeah, Because that good. did not take very long. Uh, yeah, Dora... It, well, she doesn't do any damage. Neither of our people do any damage. <laughs> It's gonna be great. Current party limit is two. Dora, Saren. Yeah, and Saren's gotta be in the front to tank. Saren signaled to Dora that he was prepared for a trip to Grimoire to get her possessions back. They excused themselves from the camp on a lie, as per Dora's instruction. When they were in Grimoire, they went from guard station to, to station. Until Dora realized that the thing she wanted back wouldn't be in any of them. They're carrying it around. I just know it. Carrying what around? Shh! They entered a tavern, searching for off-duty guards. Oh, there's some. A group of relaxing guards were huddled around a table covered in trinkets and bo a table covered in trinkets and baubles. Nothing of much value. They're in plain sight. Oh, I hate Grimoire's grind of guards. Is that stolen stuff they have? Yup. They'd call it contraband. But they're corrupt to their core. They just keep whatever they want. Wow, that's actually a really interesting point. The notion of um, city guards as uh, like the, just the martial arm of, of power. Mm. We're talking about that in one of the D&D games that we're running. Oh, hooray. Hmm. Is what you want on the table... I gotta get closer. Stay here and I'll go see. Saren was shocked to hear the door was going to go right after them, but she disappeared into the shadows. He looked around the room trying to find Dora again, but only caught a quick glance of her darting under tables. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. She eventually slid under the guard's table and stepped delicately around their feet. She slowly poked her head around the edge of the table and looked at the contents strewn around it. The dwarf woman's hand began to rise to the table as if she'd found what she wanted. Her fingers were on the table and they were inching closer to something. A scroll of paper. And then all the talk at the table abruptly stopped and the guards were staring at her. She smiled and waved. Then snatched the scroll and bolted towards Saren. Run! Whoa. Thief! Catch ya! Saren didn't argue and ran. They shot out of the tavern and into the streets. Quickly finding an alleyway to disappear into. They bobbed through the buildings to flee the city but the guards were on full alert by then. Did we just steal that, Dora? Saren panted heavily while trying to catch up with the spry dwarf. No, it's mine. I was just stealing it back. And who did you steal it from before then? Dora didn't answer. They pressed themselves against the wall as guards ran past the adjacent street. I cannot believe we're doing this. We're gonna get out. Don't bust. You there! Hold! 
Dora squeaked as a band of guards blocked their path. They were now trapped against the wall. They so match the description. Let's get him. Dora shot a look at Saren. I really can't believe we're about to do this. Dora whipped at her bow and shot a guard in the blink of an eye. Sarah ready, Saren readies his own weapon. She was a queen like an idiot. Oh, great, yeah. So, uh, so they're level 10. Yep, and full row damage. Yep. Ooh, look at all that damage you do. Yup. Yep, yep, that's the best we can do. Uh, Saren, I guess, start with the No, I think Saren, if we focus on the middle guy, I think they'll all wear out at about the same time. I mean, that's not a great plan, but... Like, the nice thing about Saren is he at least heals, right? Yeah. Like, they're not doing enough damage that this fight is going to go cool. Yay. Alright, so now I think we just start shooting them. Yep. Because the shot, I think, is quicker, too. Yeah. Get that sweet DLC levels and gear. Woo. Okay, for real this time. Run and don't get caught. Dora sprinted away before Saren could recover from the fight. This time they were able to escape Grimoire undetected. Back at camp, they caught their breath for the first time. What was all of that about? What did you just risk all that over? A piece of paper? This is probably like the only honest thing in the world that Dora owns. Probably. That that is my guess. Dora had out the scroll and grinned. A very special piece of paper. A treasure map. So, half that treasure is mine. Hey, half. No, it's not the only <laughs> thing she owns. You said you'd split it with me. Is it food? Well, yeah, not not half and half, <clears throat> though. Like the cream. There's, there's other ways to split. Half it is... Deal. Lead the way. Dora trekked across the plains with her nose glued to the map. They wandered out in the orcish ways. We really could have brought more people. Yeah. No. Are you sure this is the way? Whose treasure is this, anyway? Um, some bandit leader's rubbish. Should be ho heaps of it, though. Dora stopped and looked around. You suppose it's buried? Are you saying the treasure is right here? Yeah, the map ends here. The treasure was the friends you made along the way. Oh, clever, an animal den. Duh. Dora trotted over to a large hole in the ground and stuck her head inside without looking first, and that's when she got eaten by a monster. A giant scorpion crawled out. Who buries her stuff in an occupied den? Then let's clean it out. That's a little out of character for me, but, uh... Alright, so yeah, let's kill that scorpion. Let's just Wormy kill day. that scorpion with arrows. Uh, that's actually not bad. Uh, what's the speed on it? Nine. Nine and that's... Eight. Yeah, okay, yes, that. And then we just stab it. Yep. Uh, we're gonna need to heal, actually. Uh, yep. Yep, that'll do it. Oh, she's almost out of SP. Uh, actually, we've got like a billion potions. We can give her a potion, or we can use... Or we can actually use some of our SP to SP her up. Yeah, 50%. Yep. And yeah, that's... Dora, Dora, and Saren. Alright, Saren goes, which means he can heal himself. Yeah. Yeah, he literally is just, like, out healing anything that they can possibly do. And Dora does a decent amount of damage to a single target. Like, this stuff is, like, much lower level than us. Though. Yeah, yeah. Hooray! Oh, Saren actually oh. gained a level. Uh, what uh, do we want? I guess it's... What were we doing on the... Were we doing anything on the other front? No. No. Um... 
Like we can, I think the rest. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Nice. The better res because every now and then somebody gets knocked down and then they and die then they, immediately yeah, after. Can't keep them up. We, yeah. 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 Oh, stupid creatures. Okay, treasure time. Dora poked around in the scorpion den, but her face became increasingly disappointed. Oh, where's the goodies? He yanked out her fist quickly, and a dirty piece of parchment was crumpled in her fingers. Where's the treasure, Dora? You promised treasure. Dora read the note with a scowl. Oh, rats. Someone else got here first, I take it? Dear Gus, took it from me own bull. Bandits robbed themselves. What happened to honor amongst thieves? So what do we do now? One thing we can do, find this filth and get it back. <laughs> Theron sighed and shuffled his feet as he followed Dora, Dora determinedly to scout for the bandits who took the treasure. Dora seemed to know a lot about thieves' nests. She knew the right code words to ask and exactly where to look for any information on Bull. I think it's about time that you admit that you're a, to yourself that you were a thief, Dora. Oh, shush you. Do you want a shiny thing? Finally got a lead on the bull character and were directed to the basement under the local pub. In the smoky atmosphere, groups of thugs and bandits were laughing, drinking, and playing crude games. They noticed Doran and Sarah's entrance. It didn't stop their departure. Sorry, I was just imagining crude games. Yeah, it's like sex dice, right? It's like craps, but with sex dice. But that doesn't even strike me as crude. Mm, like, fair, like fair. that's sexual, but crude games are like, like helicopter penis or something just like <laughs> like how long can you keep it spinning that's yeah no that's fair <laughs> they didn't stop their debauchery on their on their hey look at this couple you rent a room upstairs you know all the bandits laughed but Dora placed her hands on her hips you tell that rat bull to show his ugly head or I stop bashing him until he does her laughter died and a man stood up. Well, I'd recognize this piece of work anywhere. Oh, you ass. It was the dwarf that ripped off old Gus and tried to run off with all our plunder. This made the bandits angry. They stood up and reached for their weapons. Did you really do that? Hey, don't blame a girl for getting eaten. Filth ripped me off first. Said I'd get my fair share of the cut and they'd forget to tell me that they'd pack up and leave me behind next morning. Thieves are truly honest. Everyone, including Doran, looked back at Saren with disapproval. <laughs> Saren quieted himself. Well then, I guess we gotta settle this the old-fashioned way. Boys? Oh, come and get it. I ain't scared. I got this... <laughs> I got a lot of abs to stand in front of me. Wait, can, can we settle this and not... Oh, shit. I will point out this also is not a boss fight. Yep, these guys are like level 9, and we're just going to crush them. Quick our way to victory. Quick. Maybe we have to go kill Gus afterwards? Uh, maybe? Um, normal arrows? Yeah, I think normal arrows. Um, oh, before we kill him completely, let's recover her uh, SP. That's a good point. So when we start the next fight, there'll be some. Yay. Yeah, standard, standard sword. standard sword. Dora laughed as she shot arrows into the fleeing bandits. She and Saren managed to clean out an entire basement by themselves. Bag of cowards? Let's toss this place. Let's do crimes. <laughs> Dora was giddy as she picked the basement clean and relieved all the bandits of their items. Good haul, good haul. Dora handed a box of tobacco to Saren, who was only watching Dora work. Take it. Half of this stuff is yours, remember? It doesn't look much like treasure. Oh, not right now, but when we turn it, we'll get plenty of coin. Dora <laughs> smiled at Saren with some admiration. You did real good today. You'll be a legend for sure if you ever went rogue. Actually, we're shitty and we wish we were a fighter. <laughs> Uh, thank you. As Dora said, when they sold the items they'd pilfered around town, the gold started to pile up. Even though Dora was a little reluctant, she eventually, she evenly split all their earnings in half, rounding up in her favor, of course. We just made 2,000 gold. Alright, that was her personal quest. Fair enough. Alright. Alright. 
Yeah, it's quarter two, let's call it. Alright. So next time we'll go to Horus and uh, uh, fight the corrupted barbarian, question mark? Yeah, and then uh, Grand Tree and fight the succubus. Yeah. Seems great. I'm still super curious as to whether or not we get another character, but I, I like, I think this is it. Like, it doesn't look like there's a lot of room for other people. Right? We don't have any other character quests. Um, the, yeah, we're we're up on all our romances. All right, let's save our game. We save in this way more than we save in XCOM. XCOM, it's always the last thing we do. Every night is like do the thing that we forgot to do the whole time, which was save our game. Well, XCOM at least auto saves. That's true. Like you're not going to lose more than the back to the start of a mission. All right. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. Let's warn her off. All right. Night.